Welcome back everyone. Today we have a video that I think really personally affects me a lot because I just experienced this in like the most brutalic form and my god did it suck and so I kind of want to give the guidance that I feel like I just endured and processed within myself. What the hell is that word? Became aware of, okay? For my own reality so I can help y'all with yours, okay? Okay. And that's on period. Welcome back guys, my name is Zach. If you are new here, I talk about all things law of assumption, manifestation, personal development, just anything to make your guys' lives a little bit better than they were a week ago. Let's get into it. So do you feel like your life is crumbling? Do you feel like anything that you try and manifest goes south and that you just can never step out of this version of yourself that you are currently into the newest, highest, most abundant and happy version? I would like to say hello, welcome in guys. That's what this class is for today. We are going to be talking about transition periods period. because exactly what I just described is exactly what a transition period is, okay? Okay, so what is a transition period? A transition period is basically your old thoughts purging and manifesting in your current reality while you are trying to reprogram them with new thoughts. So an example of this would be, let's say you are trying to manifest your dream body and you are doing the affirmations, you are doing the subconscious reprogramming. Maybe you're even listening to subliminals. Good for you, by the way. Maybe you are readjusting your self-concept. Maybe you are doing your shadow work. Maybe you're healing your triggers and insecurities around weight loss. And then all of a sudden a week passes by, you've been maybe going to the gym, you've been going on your little morning walks, you've been eating a little better, and then you gain 10 pounds. Oh my God. It is all of your previous coding and thoughts about yourself that is basically coming to the forefront of your reality because your new manifestations are purging those thoughts out of your subconscious mind. If you have been telling yourself for the past five years, 40 years, 60 years, doesn't matter that you are overweight, that losing weight is so hard, that every time you try to lose weight, you always fail and you fall off that wagon, that you are just a overweight person or you just hate your body. And that is what you have programmed your mind with. When you start doing the subconscious reprogramming, all of those little thoughts at the bottom of the ocean are now going to be coming up and they're gonna be saying hi to Nemo, okay? And they're going to be on the surface of your water, which is your subconscious, which is your brain, whatever. And you are unconsciously manifesting them in your reality around you. For me personally, I recently asked because I do more of a asking the universe, like, hi, can you please give me this as my form of manifesting? So I recently asked, dear universe, can you please give me my dream body? Because I'm in my superficial era right now. No, okay. I truthfully just wanted guidance to kind of help me figure out a new routine, something that made me feel really good about myself, something that helped me consistently get closer to my dream body, whatever. So I asked, and then two days later, I literally was having a manic episode and I felt like I was so exhausted from my gym exercises that I genuinely was about to lose my crap. I felt like my body, I was not very happy with it. I did not feel very good about it. I literally just felt like I was crumbling and I was like, what the hell is happening? It was traumatic. And I remember I was so exhausted all the time that I literally couldn't even like stay in my thoughts and like reprogram my mind and everything. I was literally just like, I was burnt out is how I would describe it. Now, this is maybe like, three days later, I've come to the realization that that was a transition period. Because as funny as it is, I love my body right now. I'm looking in the mirror and like the progress from this month is Mm. I am feeling great about myself. I feel like my energy is restored. I feel like I am myself again. I feel happy. I feel productive. I feel like I'm living my best life. And then I kind of had a realization. I was like, are you are you kidding me? What the hell was that? What was that? Like, why did that have to happen? And I looked at it rationally and logically and I was like, okay, like maybe I was going a little too hard at the gym. Maybe I was like not eating as much as I should. Maybe I was overworking myself at work. Maybe I was blah, blah, blah. Congratulations. 
those are the reasons why you're in a transition period. So I had to sit there and I realized that I had had these subconscious limiting beliefs that in order to get my body that I dreamed of, that I desired of, I would have to kill myself. I would literally have to brutally destroy my body in the gym with a diet, with all this stuff or whatever, because that was the belief that had been programmed in me by society, by my family, by anyone or whatever. It was like, oh, if you want a six pack of abs, you're going to have to literally eat nothing. You're gonna have to eat like vegetables and only chicken and rice. And it's going to be this brutal experience all the time. And it was also, oh, if you want to gain a lot of muscle, you're gonna have to absolutely destroy yourself at the gym. You're gonna have to be practically limping on out of there or whatever. So those were the beliefs that I subconsciously had. And that is why when I asked and I was manifesting for my dream body, for the routine that would get me there, for my lifestyle to kind of be updated and changed in this way that I desired, I literally went through hell and back because all of those subconscious limiting beliefs rose to the surface and then decided to say you and I experienced them head on. And then the minute that they were over and the minute that I kept persisting with my desire, I got what I wanted and I got my manifestation. Now the lesson here guys is with transition periods, you may or may not experience them within your manifestations because truthfully, the reason that we experience transition periods are because we have such resistance and limiting beliefs and very ingrained negative mentalities towards what it is we're trying to manifest and our self-concept has not yet aligned with that version of ourself that maybe has that desire that is the person that does that whatever that when you start reprogramming yourself and you start genuinely itching towards that version of yourself that has that desire that is that person you start to have those limiting beliefs and resistances come up to the surface of your character and they must purge your body and your reality and leave and by leaving they manifest in your reality in a very short period of time. Depending on how strong they were and how deeply ingrained these beliefs may be, they could be more extensive, they could last a little longer, but the biggest lesson here then is to persist. It is when you look in the mirror, you flip your thought. It is you keep doing your actions because when you start manifesting and you start noticing things maybe going south in your reality, that is the perfect time to sit there and be like, wow, like my manifestations are coming. Like, uh, even though my life feels like I'm literally about to die, I feel great. Like, I'm like, they're coming. And you switch your mindset because within the law of assumption, whatever you believe is true and whatever you assume to be true is true for you. So if you also start to believe that when things go south, that it is actually a sign that all your desires are coming in, then exactly that will be what it is. Then that will be exactly what it is. English, thank you. So whenever you feel like you are experiencing a transition period, whenever you feel like your reality is just crumbling and you feel like nothing is going right and you feel haywire and like what is happening and this doesn't feel normal and I've just am like having these manic episodes after one another, that is a sign that all of your manifestations are coming true and your dreams are coming true and like life is just beautiful, okay guys? So take it as it is and just believe that because <laughs> that's what's happening, okay? Okay. I had a little bit of an analogy to represent transition periods for you guys. Something that I kind of wanted to share. This is a full cup of water right now, so I'm not going to be throwing it like I usually would. But imagine that this is a glass cup, okay guys? This is like a University of Arizona cup. Guys, I'm from Arizona, so... Oh my god, this cup is destroyed. I like never realized that because I just drink it every day. The inside's fine, guys. Um, but so imagine this is a glass cup, okay? At the very bottom right here, you have your orange juice. This is your limiting beliefs, your negative assumptions, the insecurities and the negative perceptions you have on you, your reality, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. Now all of a sudden you start pouring in water. This water is, you know, your pure thoughts, your manifestations, your affirmations, your subconscious reprogramming that you start pouring in. The minute that you start pouring that water in, it's going to start building it up. And then the orange juice is going to get to a point where it reaches the top of this cup and it now starts pouring over. And when it pours over, it's leaving your mind, because this right here, you know, is your subconscious mind. It's leaving your mind by pouring over, but by it pouring over, it therefore is manifesting in the reality around you. I hope that that makes sense to you guys. This is why when that happens, you just keep pouring your water in, you just keep doing your daily life, you just keep living as if you have your desire, you keep staying clear in your mentality, you keep that mental diet going strong, and you just keep living your life as if nothing is happening, even though the world might feel like it's crumbling for a second. 
And then, you know, a week will pass by, that orange juice will kind of dry up, the sun will evaporate it on the floor, and then your cup will just be full of only water. And now when that water starts pouring over, it's your manifestations, and it's exactly what you want, and it's your desires, and it's your dream reality. And now you sit there and you're like, wow, like why did I have to go through that week of pure suffering? It's because, and most people know this, a lot of times in our lives when we go through intense suffering, we immediately get our desires, we feel much better, we feel clean, we feel radiant, we feel like things are going our way again. Like it's that really weird lapse where sometimes, you know, your life just feels like it's crumbling and nothing's going your way and you're just having a manic episode for no reason. And then, you know, a month later you feel on top of the world, you feel amazing, you feel like life is even better than it was two months ago and you're just sitting there like, wow, like, Okay. So that is what a transition period is, guys. I wanted to make a kind of shorter video on this because I felt like this is not a topic that needs a lot of explanation. The basis of it is when you feel like your reality is crumbling, when you feel like things are not going your way, after you've been doing all the work and after you have been consistently, consciously manifesting, that is a transition period and all that it is a sign of is that your desire is coming and that you just need to keep persisting. You just need to keep going. You just need to keep doing whatever it is you're doing because clearly it's working if you're noticing some type of difference, whether it's good or bad in your external reality. Okay? Okay. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up and I'm going to be cringy and be like, subscribe guys. I really appreciate you guys leaving some subject suggestions in the comments below for videos that you guys are interested in those always kind of inspire me and give me some new motivation to make some content for you guys so thank you very much for that thank you guys also for all the support on my most recent videos like that means a lot to me okay so thank you but yeah guys i hope that you have a beautiful day i will see you in the next video and yeah guys have a good one bye